Now, this issue of lust, and in the original, it's composed of two words. Epe thumia. Epe means upon. Thumia means sacrifice. And the reality is when you give yourself to lust, something is being sacrificed upon the altar of your passions. Something is being sacrificed on the altar of your passions. Something is being sacrificed on the altar of your passions. Say that with me. Something is being sacrificed on the altar of your passion. So what happens when you succumb to lust, that you're opening a door for something. Let's, let's look at something here. Because Jesus deals with this. Turn to Matthew chapter 5. And somehow we can almost feel secure with lust because it's, it's inside of us. Not everybody sees it. It's not necessarily readily uh, exposed. It's something that's concealed. So we can begin to accept, okay, you know, I'm feeling these feelings and it's all right. And, and I, I have this attraction and, I, and I'm envisioning these things. But wait a minute. Let's look at what Jesus says. Chapter 5. Let's start at verse 27. You have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lust for her has already committed adultery in his heart. Wow, Jesus. That's kind of messed up. <laughs> so I didn't do it. But because I thought it and wanted it, it's just like I did it. So he says in verse 29, and nobody else has to know it, and I did it. Verse 29, and if your right eye makes you stumble, tear it out and throw it from you. For it is better for you to lose one of your body parts, or parts of your body, than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. Go Jesus. Okay, now let's understand. Let's look at this, okay? Maybe fitting under one of those categories of the hard sayings of Jesus. Let's, let's understand. How many know Jesus would say things to stir and, and not just for shock treatment, but he was getting to something deeper. Because look at this in verse 30. If your right hand makes you stumble, cut it off and throw it from you. For it is better to lose one of your parts of your body than to have your whole body going to hell. Now, how many know that you can cut your hand off and still go to hell? Right? You can pluck your eyeball out and still go to hell. You can be blind and go to hell. Matter of fact, you can be blind and still have lust. All right? What Jesus is dealing with is what is behind the scenes, what's driving your hands to want to hold, touch, fondle. What is driving your hands to do certain areas of sin? And what is behind those eyes that allows you now to begin to take what you see and personalize it for your own pleasure? And so he's saying, uh, he's saying, look, understand the severity of the actions require such a gesture, but it's not necessarily the plucking out of your literal eyeball as much as making the adjustments not to allow yourself to begin to perceive things in such a way that you lose a kingdom focus and you begin to devalue people and reduce them to objects for your purpose. And so don't let your eye cause you to stumble, but it's not your eye, is it? It's your heart. It's, you, you're, your, your hand doesn't automatically say, you know, you walk in the store and your hand just says, I'm going to steal something. <laughs> I don't care what the rest of my body wants to do. My hand just wants to steal something. <laughs> then you say, oh, then cut that hand off. No, it comes from your heart, right? 
I mean, your eyes didn't say, you know what, man, she is, looks good. She's just, woo, slamming. And your body's saying, no, stop, stop. And your mind is saying, come on, cut that out. Your heart's saying, come on. Your eyes say, oh, no, uh-uh. No, your eyes are not working independently. <laughs> right? They're, it's not an independent part of the process. Your eyes are submitting to your heart. It's submitting to your mind. It's submitting to the process of where you are. And so when it comes down to it, when you succumb to lust, you're sacrificing something. What are you sacrificing on the altar of your passions? Well, let's see. Sacrificing my personal values. I'm sacrificing righteousness. Sacrificing holiness. I'm sacrificing my love for God and my love for people. Because when I entertain lust out of the covenant of marriage, then I reduce somebody to something for me. Right? If that person is simply an object to help me experience something, then they become, they're reduced. I reduce them. I don't love them. Thank you.